Oh, I've got a gold card. So you want another council, huh? Okay, I guess you can wait in the lobby until the emergency session is over. But whatever you do, don't disturb them. Oh, she's already in there. The hell are you doing? No, never mind. Probably just faster to swap characters that way, I'm guessing. But still, it's a bit of an annoying system. No oh, word, it could possibly emulate the wisdom of the council. Uh, it's not that hard to emulate. Surely there's been some mistake. You racist piece of shit. Well, xenophobic. Beyond those doors, the High Council of Democracy faces every decision with will, purpose, and determination. I'm sure they do. Funny but you here. Too bad you didn't want me dragging along. I was getting restless just waiting around. Doing the final work of this plan myself. I had to convince the guards outside that I'm an ally of the council. My funny guy, he didn't know I was female. <laughs> Where have you all been? Maybe you don't disturb them. Fuck it. Maybe you don't disturb them. Order, order, can we please stick to the issue at hand? We must reach a decision before the missiles hit. Sitting here and squawking about it isn't going to save us. What we require is swift, decisive action. Someone must fly into the hive and destroy the threat. I don't think rushing headlong into conflict is the best course of action for the people of Democritus, Hal. Best Idiot. Best course of action? Would you rather sit back and die? There are mm. 64 cascading concussion missiles coming <coughs> straight for us. Unless we do something in the next two hours, this entire planet will be rubble. This is obviously my fault. I take complete responsibility for our destruction. Oh, you're all jumping to conclusions. There's no evidence the missiles are even destructive in nature. <laughs> Hive has been doing this for hundreds of years. Bomb planet, wait for dust to settle, then recolonize to expand hive. Yeah. What exactly do you think is inside those warheads? Gift bag. Paper mache? Yeah, yeah exactly. No one doubts your passion for the subject, Councilman, but this is a democracy. All voices will be heard equally, and you've dominated this session long enough. Now, who will be heard next? We will. <laughs> I've heard enough. Give us a fighter. We'll take out this hive while you guys bicker about it. Who are these people? Are they serious? Uh, could we talk about this for a second? You want to get off this planet or not? See? Now that's decisiveness. Yep. Give this man a fighter. That's a woman, how? <laughs> Aren't we all forgetting something? The 228 Sparrow is a state-of-the-art asteroid fighter. It packs everything a talented pilot would need to infiltrate and destroy the hive. Uh huh. Except our hangar security systems are still unlocked. Oh, for God's sake. There's no time for a subcommittee to approve the activation. So you'd have to fight past a division of deadly sentry rowboats just to access the ship. <coughs> Sir, do I look like I care? Where are the keys? This is insanity. Why fight the hive when we can just steal the fighter and save ourselves? No kidding. Screw the fighter. Let's grab the <laughs> warship and fly home in style. No. I'm not gonna sit back and watch another planet be destroyed. Got a good point. Can't not just destroyed. Can't let you do this. Your concern is sweet, pal. And unfortunate because you're coming with us. Period. The robots you're about to destroy are my brothers. I won't help you kill him. Period. Oh, for God's sake. Did he just talk smack to me? Yep. Has he ever questioned you like that before? <clears throat> Pal, how are you feeling? I'm pretty pissed off, man. Congratulations. Pissed off. <laughs> the robots become self-aware. <laughs> You're a daddy now. Pal, self-aware? Hey, where do you get off? <laughs> hey, need I remind everyone of the missiles racing toward the planet? Right. Stay put. But we're having a serious powwow when I get back, mister. Ugh! Punch me! 